Continuing from the yesterday's video tutorial wherein we accessed the XML data using the DOM and displayed it using alert box in JavaScript. This is yesterday's code. For this tutorial, please look at it look at on our blog technotip.com. Also find the link below this video on YouTube. You would get some important lessons notes on our website so this is the xml file the root tag is company names inside that we have two elements called company name let's just execute it on the browser so upon clicking those links it invoked the javascript function in turn displaying the functions displaying the contents of the XML file so today let's just remove this alert box and display the contents inside this HTML page itself using inner HTML property of JavaScript actually inner HTML property of the DOM document object model not necessarily of JavaScript So I'll just specify these tags that is due tags and give it some unique IDs. Remember IDs are more important here. These class names are just used for the purpose of CSS styling later on. Using these unique IDs we are going to insert the values of XML between these due tags so we are almost done with the HTML part of it now what is inner HTML the contents between this title is the inner HTML of title the inner HTML of head is this one starting from the opening head tag to the closing head tag the inner HTML of body tag is from starting body tag till the ending body tag. So the inner HTML of div is whatever is present inside the div tag. Let me just remove the alert here and write document dot get element by ID. The ID name is the exact thing we have specified for the IDs that is div IDs so the first one being the name here so get the element by its ID which is name dot its inner HTML remember we are not fetching the inner HTML here we are assigning value to these inner HTML so we have assigned name to it name already has value here so let me just remove this in order to make it simpler so when to display this uh, let me do it on load of this HTML page once this page loads I'll just call this display one function let's see on it let's see it on the browser it's not seem to work let's see what maybe the display one name function name yeah it does match now let's check the id here okay id it has lower case i need to give the same case here now it should work and it's working remember the name label has been given here that is the string has been concatenated it with the actual data now do the same for all other fields we have two phone numbers one email field and one company name
Save the file, let's see here. Okay, it's working. The labels are also dynamically fetched. Now let's apply some minimum styling information here. So to make it look like the one we did on our second tutorial, applying cascading style sheets to XML. Let's link the same style.css file for the video of basic CSS and XML integration. Look at the second video and the link is also present inside the notes. The link to that notes is present below this video on YouTube. Let's open the CSS file. Okay, let's open the same file here. And insert a dot here so so as to specify it as a class remember class name always starts with a dot and ID names start with the pound symbol now it's working let's surround this entire thing inside a div tag with a class name company name Now the entire CSS styling must apply here. Yeah. So it looks similar to our second example of XML and CSS. This way of writing it on HTML page has a lot of advantage to it. Using DOM structure, we could manipulate the data, create, insert. We could do a lot more things and we would see that in coming classes. Now just see how to display the second user's information here. I just apply the same thing. We could do this using simple looping, but let's see how to manually do it, like changing the on load function here from display two to display one. It would call first person's information. If you do display two and save it and reload, it displays the second person's information. This doesn't seem to be practical now, but if we do it on on load, but later on we would show it on due tags and automatically retrieving the information one at a time. That would make more sense in your applications. Thanks for watching. Please watch coming videos to make more sense out of these technologies. Please share this video on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, etc. And please like this video on YouTube.